Back with Moon and the student six who are now at the end of their trick-or-treating. Wow, we've got a lot of candy, said Moon, while spending a lot of her first nightmare night gathering candy with her friends. Okay, what's next? I think my bag is too full to put any more candy in it. Well, we still have to try the Apple family's haunted maze, said Gallus, who was pretty sure that the maze won't spook any of them. They had a lot of fun during the garden maze, Gallus refusing to admit he was scared, but at least it was a great experience. Hey everyone, okay Moon? You've been quiet a lot of the time with trick-or-treating with us, asked Yana, who was quick to point it out. I'm fine. It's my first nightmare night and I'm just enjoying the moment, said Moon, who then looked to the sky. I thought I sensed... Never mind. Hey, is it, it's time to head over to Sugar to Cube Corner, said Sanbar, who draws her attention back to the others. I hope they have strawberry flavors, thought Moon, who quickly forgot what she might have sensed at that moment. I'm sure whatever it was, it was nothing. I mean, it's not like some pony would cause a real fright on Nightmare Night. It's just for the fun, after all. The mysterious figure from Bor from before watching them from the shadows, who says in a low whisper as she turns towards a little partner of hers, a breezy she has in her clutches. That was close. Now you ready? Yes, if I do this for you, you'll let me go, asked Breezy, as the mysterious figure was holding the poor thing in its vile magic. Yes, you're to keep an eye on the alicorn of the group. Report anything you learn about her back to me when you get the chance, said the mysterious figure, before letting the Breezy go, but not before putting a strange enchantment on its wings. Just a precaution in case you try to run or break our deal by exposing me. Now go. Sure, whatever you say, Miss Bossy, said Breezy before flying off after Moon and her friends. If that little squirt can get some useful dirt on the brat, I could reclaim my honor for failing to deal with her. I didn't expect her to be crystal wool, to be the crystal wolves. I thought the mysterious figure before disappearing into the shadows of the night.